Okay, this is the next in the series of using the voltmeter to troubleshoot. Now you may notice, I've got my load just like I had it before. I've got two switches, and the two switches are in series. Series simply means if I shut one switch off, it shuts it off. If I shut both switch off, it's already shut off, so it's not going to make any difference. So one of those switches off, and the unit won't work. And you can take, okay, one of them's on, nothing happening, second one's on, now I have a complete circuit. Okay, let's look at what the voltages will be in the different conditions. Okay, because I have two switches in series, that means this is a control circuit because it's not going to let everything work until everything says it's okay. Now these are manual switches, they could be pressure switches, limit switches, whatever the heck. Okay, now let's say uh, one of those switches is off and one's on. Okay, now you can see we're reading line voltage because I have power from here up through the load through the load over to this switch which is on the jumper jumps to the second switch which is off and back to the power so this is telling me this switch is off this switch is on and the load is good. That's what that's telling me. Now certainly if I turn this switch on like that, then I go back to reading this virtually zero uh, because it's reading actually the voltage drop across the switch which is very small and for our purposes it is reading zero. Now if I turn this off now what have I done? Okay, now I'm reading zero again, but the load's not working. Now if I turn this off, it still doesn't make any difference. Okay, let's look at what's happening. The power is coming from here. It's going up to the switch. The switch is open. And this switch is open, so it's going to read zero, and the load's not going to work. Now, I turn it on, it still reads zero, because this switch is off. Both of these switches have to be on for this thing to work. So I turn this one on, and now... I'm working, the, the load is working, I'm still reading zero, the only way I can read the line voltage is to shut this switch off and leave this switch on and the load is still good. This is where a lot of guys get in trouble because there's two or more switches in there. Now let's see if we can do a little hopscotch and maybe make a little more sense out of this. Okay, now you can see I have one of my probes hooked to the power source and it's connected directly to the load. There's no switching in there. So, what, if I wanted to find out what is wrong with this circuit, I would go here and I read voltage. That's telling me voltage is available. Now, because this is going up to the load with no switch, then I can go over to here, which is directly to the load, and I still don't see voltage, do I? Now, I can go here. I still don't see voltage. I go here. Still don't see voltage. And I go here and I see voltage. Okay, 
by the hopscotch method, I have first went to here to find out if there's power available. Then I went up here to find out if there's power to the load. And then I started hopscotching down the switches. As soon as I get a change where I see voltage, then from here, zero, from here, uh, line voltage, I know this switch is off. Let's go over again. Let's turn this one on and this one off. Okay. Now again, I'm going here. I have power. I go across the load. I don't show any power. I go here and I show 240 volt power. So I know the switch I just bypassed is a switch that is off. That's how that actually works. Now this is way too simple doing it this way because it's all obvious and right in front of your face. I'll try to put this on a piece of equipment and we'll see if we can make sense out of it on the equipment. But this is your basic. When you come to a switch, that when I go to the feed into the switch, and I have power, or I don't have, I don't show any power, and then I go to the other side of the switch, and I show power, then I know that switch is open. Okay.